guys, from Flies here, back in another video. It has been just a bit here. Uh, we just recently finished off with doing Corvox Leg Command. Uh, so welcome if you are coming back from that video. Uh, and welcome everyone else who have been watching all my videos and love the series. Um, we got a lot more coming. Don't worry. There's tons more stuff we got to do. And uh, I'm just trying to get much as possible done and new scripts, new things I've never done before. And I'm pretty surprised I'm getting them done. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, before we start this video, feel free to subscribe and click that post notification. But, guys, um, it means so much to me. We literally hit 3.5K subs, and hitting 4K is going to be amazing. Amazing, man. I can't wait. Um, and join the Discord. It is in the description. We are also doing giveaways at 5K subscribers. And I might just do Discord Nitro one more time might for fun. We'll see here. Um, and join the group. It is also in the description. Uh, we hit like 230, 240. Maybe we're at 240 now. I haven't checked. But um, that's a great thing too. Um, so yeah. Now, before we start this, all you got to do is go in the description and find models and look for Game Pass Limited Board. You're going to click on the link and you're going to grab it right here and it should say item owned and now you're all good and you'll be able to import this into Roblox Studio. Um, you're going to go to your toolbox and it should pop up on the screen like one of these and you're going to go to inventory and you're going to go to my models and click that. Now, when it spawns it in, it's going to spawn in two things. It's going to spawn in these two boards. Now, they don't, they don't look too amazing, I will be honest. I didn't really tend to too much time to make them look good but this is for you guys to do and you're probably wondering what are these for i try to go off vibe nyc now um because a lot of people are wondering how do we make these boards that people will look at in game and love and adore now there are greater ways to do this i would honestly go look at vibe nyc and see how they did them because it looks so much better mine are just a little scrappy but um yeah so you're gonna get this model it's gonna look like this it's gonna say ungroup and star dry ungroup and workspace you're gonna grab those two models control you can do whatever you want and drag them to workspace and once you do that you'll bring it up here sorry and it should have these two boards that spawn in in the world now they won't have these things on it it might not and that is because what you got to do is these service GUIs, okay? You're going to put it in starter GUI. And what you're going to do when it's there, it should look like this, okay? And it's going to be in a folder. And you're going to open the folder up, and there's going to be two of them. Now, you can have as many you want. That's why you have them in the folder, because it looks better. And inside these, now, there's a certain property. Um, this is called Adorni. Now, this is basically what is going to be going on to a certain part, and what is it? what does it want to be on now that's how you figure out everything so let's say i wanted to put it on that okay it's not going to do it but let's say i do it right here on that part it will do it now how that works <laughs> realm <laughs> how that works is basically it's setting it's the character it's, it's what it is now you gotta leave this in workspace just leave it in workspace it should be like uh just like this game pass limited board so you're all good to do that and you're basically going to adorn those to each other. Now, like I said, if you want to make more, you're just going to duplicate it and do the same thing, put a Dorney. And you don't need to change anything else. I'd recommend just doing that. But you can also change face, by the way. So if it's not on the right side, uh, just put face on a different thing and you'll figure that out. But we're going to look into these and look how they work. Now, we have the limited edition board and then the Game Pass store. Now, how a Vibe NYC does theirs is they release a limited edition item, let's say every week or every month. I don't really know how, I don't know the time schedule. But what they do is they change this in the end, okay? They change it every time. They don't like get rid of the board. And that's what I've noticed because they're cash grabbing, and you can tell, because they don't get rid of the board. They just change it, they just start adding new things. Um, and it's very smart, very smart. So, limited editions, people get confused. They're like, how do I make a limited edition item that's rare or something? It's really simple. Let's say if you want to do it in the gear shop, you could add it in the gear shop for, let's say, a few weeks and then just remove it. And it will still have, but you got to keep it in server storage for the tools. It's the same thing. But like I said, it, it's this, it's kind of as in saying, um, you know, you have it and then you basically will be able to uh, have that item forever now i kind of forgot to add in a script for the limited edition sign but basically we're going to go off the boom and glow sticks maybe go watch the glow stick video um but basically what we're doing what we'll do is let's say we'll duplicate this and call it limited and we'll put the game pass id right here and we'll change the server storage where it is so i had the stick um and custom as well sign and we'll change that now maybe i'll make it with you guys actually real quick here because i do need to make one of these so let's do it actually so we're going to duplicate this and we're going to call it 
uh, sign, okay? So once we call it sign, we are going to go and make sure this is the right sign. So this is customizable sign. That is the name, and this is in server storage. Now, I got my own. Um, I didn't really give you guys one. Uh, I might make a video. I'm going to make a video on it, by the way, because I wanted to do that. Oh, sorry, wrong script. We're going to go to sign, and we're going to change this uh, thing right here, server storage, and we're going to go customizable sign. Now, we are basically going to grab this game pass ID, and how we're going to do this is we're going to go to our game. Now, we're going to go to profile. Uh, I'm going to find my game for me. Okay, so we're going to go to Vibe House, and we are going to go into Store, Add Game Pass, and we are going to go right here, and let's create a new one, and we're going to find my file. So let me find my file real quick. Uh, I think I did it in random. ba 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 This might take me a second here. Uh, you know, anything works. You guys can do what you want. Uh, but either way, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we have the sign. And we're going to say limited edition right here. Custom sign. Okay, and then we're going to say buy now before it's gone. And we're going to hit preview. And we're going to verify upload. And it will be right there. Now, you can configure here and, you know, change the price. But, you know, I don't want to do that because I'm not actually making this limited yet but we're gonna copy that nine number so i'm gonna bring this back on my screen ah sorry hiccups boys um and we're gonna copy that right there so now we have it now it's gonna work so if they do only game pass id how it's gonna work is it will basically give them it right when they join now like i said so it's still gonna know they're owning the game pass even if it's not for sale so when you take this down and to take it off from the shop. So like I, sorry, what I was trying to say is like, let's say it's like this and you own it. You're basically going to configure it and make it for sales. You're going to turn it, so it's going to be on, let's say. You're going to turn it off. Because what that's doing is it's just turning it off for sale. It's not like getting rid of anything or not. So basically, it'll still be in here. Keep that in there. Keep that service script service or whatever in there. And you will have that there forever. So you don't need to worry about it. Now, another thing is you can tell is this sign i'll probably spawn with it right away because i own the game pass so that's another thing to look at um but this uh we're gonna talk about the screen and how it works but like i said guys just remove this just remove the game pass and you're good that's the limited edition board and we'll show you here how to change them and how it works so either way building wise you can just go into here and move it around uh i have it adorned to this part right here so if I were to move this around, it's going to get bigger, it's going to get smaller, that's how that works. Otherwise, you can just build around it. So that's up to you guys and your choice. Now, inside here, we have the limited GUI. There is like a trick to doing these. You can make a starter GUI and like just put it on your screen and start editing it from there. Or you can just do it from here, but it's a little harder because you can't like move it with your mouse. You have to do position frame stuff. But I made this already for you. So inside frame, we're going to have the shop frame and everything in here. So all you got to do, guys, is you can change the game pass ID image right here, doing that image. And then you can change this text down here into text and changing something else. And then you go to the buy button, look inside it, and there's going to be the local script. You are going to change this right here. Now, I actually need to make this sign. So we're going to do that, and we're going to put that right there. So there we go. That is the number for the game pass. And how this is going to work is we're grabbing the local player. We're grabbing the button. So script.parent, this is the child of that. So we're going to grab the button, and if it, they click the button, this button, that buy button, it will do the marketplace service prompt big game pass purchase. And if they buy it, it will basically have it to them. Now, they will have to rejoin because that's just how it works, but it will purchase them on their account and they'll have it forever. Now, like I said, you should only have one item on the limited edition. I wouldn't recommend doing it having two. If you want, you could just duplicate it and do the same thing, but that's how that works. That's what this one is. Super easy. Now, we have the Game Pass store. Same thing right here. It is a scroll image. It is the same exact what we use for our other Game Pass uh, GUI, so don't worry about that, guys. Uh, it's the same thing. Now, all you do is go in here, go into frame, and frame two, all the other ones, and look at how the are all the different ones, and we're going to go to, which one are we on? Stop. This is stop three. You can change the Game Pass image here, like I said. Change the text right here, and you can also remove the script right here if you don't want it to be rainbow. That's your choice. But guys, just remember to go and change all the IDs of your new game passes. I already have custom ones for you, so you can use them if you want. Vibe Trail, Vibe Box, all that jazz. Um, and you can watch all my other videos on them. And basically that. So it's kind of self-explanatory. All I really want to show you is you basically put the self-adorned to a part. 
and you change them in a certain way, but also how to make a limited edition item. So like I said, let's say I'm going to play it right now. I actually should own the item because I do own the Game Pass in general. So we're going to go look at that. Um, so let's see here. It should work. And I, I need to make a video on getting it to actually be a real thing. But at the moment, I don't really know. So like I said, customers will sign. Oh, yeah. See, this is the sign. So yes, I have it. Um, open menu. There's, you know, sign color, black, text color, white. This is really cool and I like, but it needs some fixing because it's doing this, <laughs> which I know what's wrong with it, so I'm going to have to figure it out. But, yeah, that's basically the idea, guys, and I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, please comment, subscribe, like, and share. And, yes, you guys, I will see you in the next one. And as you can see right here, they're glowing, and when you click buy, it will potch up something, and I already own this item, so we don't need to worry about it. But it's really cool, so I, you did like it. It's, it's something to look at and think it's it's, it's very nice. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>